Hi everyone, my name is Charlie Berluti and welcome to the program Cross Pass. Tonight, I guess, is uh, Bill Height, who is a good friend, a Newport artist, and he just completed a show at the uh, Newport uh, Art Association. And also, he just finished the third series of Newport and People uh, that appeared at the Newport Art Museum. Welcome to the show, Bill. Hi, Charlie. Good to see you again. It's good to have you here. Thank you. And I know today we're going to be seeing a series of your pictures and photo not photographs, but paintings that you're going to show us. And uh, why don't we, uh, well, first, let's tell us a little bit about uh, Newport and People. Um, it's a series I started about 10 years ago. And uh, it evolved into getting people from around town to pose for me. And I captured, I'm trying to capture the essence of Newport, winter, summer, you know, it's all the people that make the, the city such a great place to live. And uh, you, know, you well know that because you're in one of my portraits right. also. Well, Bill, why don't we take a look at some of these portraits Okay, well, here? this is the, uh, the beginning of the third um, part of the Newport and People. And I started off with Charles Roberts uh, with all the kids from his first night series. And, uh, and yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then um, a colorful gentleman that you all guys might know is R.J. Cawley, contracting. Yeah, he does a lot around the city. Uh, yeah, that's Joe him. right there. Yeah, and uh, he's been doing that for years. Does a great job, and uh, any place you look, you always find the call. He's doing something. Doing something. This is the Reverend from the Channing Memorial Church on uh, Pelham Street, Amy Bowden uh, Friedman, and uh, she's in the church, the lights and everything. We once did a, a, a poetry reading up there, uh, and uh, it was really, really good. I mean, uh, she had, uh, I think it had something to do with soup tasting. Uh, and Leroy White has sung Leroy there. Leroy White yeah. and uh, it's a great Jimmy play. Winters was yep. there. It was a great night, yeah. Next image is um, Elizabeth Myers mm -hmm. and Mike McCaffrey, her husband, and they're in the uh, Iris sh uh, School where they have helped ma establish that school and make it an important asset to Newport life and I, shipping. I met Elizabeth Mayer once and uh, she was outstanding. I went down there to talk to her about something, maybe about doing a program with her. and. Uh, her eyes are stunning. Uh, she, yeah. yeah, she has this ability to uh, almost look through you, yeah. and uh, she's very intelligent. Yeah. Very intelligent person. And then from um, people like Elizabeth Meyer, we go to the people that just make the city work uh, all the time. And the, this is Debbie and Michael from Stop and Shop. They're the managers. And yeah. uh, this was taken at Christmas time. You see all the Christmas decorations up. Yeah. And a, a lot of the associates around them. Oh, that's a wonderful shot. Uh, De uh, Debbie is a wonderful person. She's gone through a little bit of a tough time now with her, her sister, sister being yeah. sick. But uh, she's a real trooper and yep. uh, she has a lot of courage. And Great friend. Yeah. Good. That's a good, uh, that's a good uh, painting, Bill. Very nice. Thank you. And then we go to... My daughter, Samantha, and she is uh, in a subway station in Paris where you can go and put all the graffiti you want on the uh, walls. No kidding. So this is all spray paint. And I just saw her standing there, and I said, stop. And I took a photograph of her, and, and that's what this painting is based well, on. Well, I, I know Sam. Uh, just leave that there yeah. a second, if you could. Uh, we did a show with Sam, as you remember. Yes. Outstanding guest. Yeah. You can be so proud of her. She came on, and, and, and she... she she could be a reporter yeah. on a major TV station. She was so good. And some of her pictures, they were outstanding. I mean, she brought some of the pictures that were just beautiful, well, all kinds, you. especially from the Far East and yep. places like that. She's traveled quite a bit. Yeah. She's a great daughter. And then we go to uh, a girl by the name of Sarah Thompson, and she is a client for the... Uh, 
from the uh, Anchor Steam Tattoo Parlor mm -hmm. in Newport. And this is all basically a tattoo that she has on her back. And I have not elaborated a bit. That's actually what her back looks like. Well, it'd be interesting to know uh, what all of that uh, means. It must be a significance to it. Did she mention at all? No, but she'd be a great guest for you sometime on this. I don't know if we could, <laughs> <laughs> we could show it all, but uh, it'd be interesting to find out, you know, why the anchor is there and, yeah. and the rest of it. And then uh, there's a, a girl, equally as important, Katie Rodriguez, who is the uh, pitcher for the uh, Newport softball team. Wow, I don't know her. Uh, this is Wellington Field and um, I spring practice. Did you ask her how fast she pitches? Or? No, I, well, it's a softball, so it wasn't that, but it's, it's so unusual to see a woman or a girl be the pitcher, so I, I thought it was fascinating, and that's why it attracted my, me to it. My, my granddaughter is going through that now, which is, which is kind of interesting. Uh, she, uh, uh, she did some pitching the other day, and I couldn't participate. They were over in the park, right? and she can really whip that ball. And I mean, when I was younger, uh, like you said, girls didn't do that but right. today they're right out there and they're whipping the ball just as but I think she could pitch better than Obama <laughs> <laughs> anyway yeah I saw his pitch <laughs> yeah he was <laughs> um, and this is Peter Warburton who is a um, ships model builder I think that's how you say it uh -huh. and these are the plans of a model he's putting together and all the pieces he has around the Warburton family I've heard a lot about them but uh He's the, uh, that is a nice shot, too. He, look at all the uh, yeah. equipment he has there to put the models it, it, together. That That's is down, I think, in Bo 12 Bowen's Wharf, these little shop is. I remember uh, years ago uh, when you put ship models together and little models together, they were real easy. But as you progress, yeah. they get very intricate, you know? I think, well, these are models you, you actually build from scratch. There's no pieces that you buy. You basically... Are whittling and uh, really yeah wow that's an art in itself it is and then uh, if you've ever been to Benjamin's you've probably run into this character Richard Kelly and um, this is a Russian uh, waitress at Anastasia and Paul Boardman the bartender and that's in Benjamin's right there on Thame Street no, I never did frequent that place, so I, I bet it's really nice. Have you been in there? I'm, well, it's, I'm a friend of Richard, so no, I'm not a, a big f um, bar goer. Uh -huh. uh, this is Charles and Liz Lauren with their dog Oreo, and this is Gold's Auto Wrecking. And uh, I did this painting uh, January of 07 when we had that very, very warm January. And this is Sid Abruzzi down on Marine Avenue surfing in January. Okay, tell us about this one now, Bill. Uh, well, this is a, a handy lunch down on Thames Street, and you got Gary Hooks, and you got Joel, Tina, and Rachel, and uh, it's just taking a break on a busy, you know, it's pretty mobbed in there for breakfast. So <laughs> tell me about yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> we went down there when I was working construction for uh, uh, Les, Les Willis. Uh, we used to stop in there every morning before we went to work. Uh, used to do roofs yep and uh, he would have these best muffins homemade muffins but the bad part about it he used to use uh, I think butter yeah on the grill yeah and uh, no good for your heart but yeah ah, god they were out of this world well, well that's why the mix tastes so good <laughs> yeah it was it was uh, it was not uncommon for yeah. those contractors to have two and three of those uh, well this muffins. is a really a, a center of Newport for a lot of the working people uh, it is yeah and it's a very very nice restaurant yeah okay um, this is uh, mrs. Donald Harley Tinney and she's the owner of uh, Belcourt Castle. And she's sitting in the great room with this medieval um, stained glass behind her. She, she's a very nice person. Yep. I've met her several times. Um, and she's very pleasant, very sociable. And she's, you know, to have that wealth and still be a regular person right. it says a lot about her. Yeah.
And then we go to Vicki Flaherty, and she is the teacher for the one-room schoolhouse on Prudence Island. And this actually is the class of 07, <laughs> graduating class. Wow. Now that's when you really get teachers' attention, right? Yeah. With only two, two students. Two students. Wow. And there's not much uh, upkeep. She did it all. I mean, she did the math, the English, the geography. Oh, my God. And they, every year they, they threaten to close the school down and they, you know, get one more year. I read something in the paper about that, but she has fought to keep it open. Yep. And I think she's done it successfully, too, right? Yep. They're going yep. to they're keep it open. Reminds they, me of the uh, nuns uh, when they took care of the Catholic school. One nun did it all. She t taught every subject. Yep. And I was unaware of that until I got to public schools and found out they had different teachers. Teachers, for different, yeah, yeah. Different subjects. Nice. That's a nice, nice uh, painting. And I love that girl, the way she's smiling. I think that's one happy student. They're happy, you know. And this is my daughter Bernadette at breakfast. And um, oh, I love that picture. That's uh, that's uh, that's a great, the great, 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 great painting. My God, yeah. uh, I. It's like she's. Uh, she has a great smile. She does. It's very, very nice. Was she talking to somebody? It's just yeah, she was talking to someone on the side. Wow. And uh, you got the colors just perfect there, you know. You do such a great job. Well, thank you. And we go from one daughter to another, and this is Samantha. And that's uh, Samantha, and she just had bought these red gloves, <laughs> and she was showing them off to me. Oh, I love Sam. She's such a character. Yeah. She was tell you were telling me about her. Uh, what, being in France where she was cold or something? But in, um, she was in a rocking chair, you were telling me, and they, she was freezing. And the oh, no, that was Bernadette. She was uh, <laughs> shivering in Florence, and she had no heat. <laughs> I thought and it she was, was wearing an overcoat and gloves, and she's doing her homework. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, they had some cold days this winter yeah. in, in Europe. She's very picturesque, isn't she? Yeah. And this is my son, Eric. And he's with the gentleman Tom Erb, which who yeah. does a lot of the arts and and the theater in Newport. And this is a radio. Uh, yeah, I, I uh, heard him on uh, WADK. That's with, it. Uh, with this my it. Uh, nephew. Exactly. Arthur. Yeah. And that's your son. This is the first time I saw a picture of your son. I met him, but uh, that's a, that's a nice painting. Now you did a good job on that. Thank you. Tell us about this next picture. This is a, uh, a portrait of uh, Dr. Zeklinski, who uh, is a surgeon at Newport Hospital. And he's here on the second floor. Uh, it was, he's a very busy surgeon, so I'm, I was fortunate to get him to stand still for a minute. But uh, that's what this painting's about. I know him very well because um, he's the one, uh, one of the doctors that uh, performed my colon operation. And, a very nice man, very intelligent man. Lots of great stories. Yes, and uh, speaking about that, we'd uh, love to get him on the program Cross Pass. Uh, uh, doctor, you know where we're at, so uh, give us a call. We'd love to have you on. We won't regret it. Great. And, and not only that, uh, I guess uh, his picture, his painting, I should say, and you were nice enough to donate a, a couple of paintings to Newport Hospital, and one was of the doctor himself, and one of Bob and I on... Uh, Cross Pass, and they're going to be hanging up on the uh, fourth floor. Yeah, it was quite an honor. Yeah. So, uh, that's great. Thank you. And then we uh, move to uh, waste management. Uh, these gentlemen pick up um, the garbage every Monday morning, uh, Brian Engersall and Matt Flynn. And um, it's just them standing back at the waste management truck. You know, well, but it's an important part of Newport, you know. If you it, it is when you think about it. Yeah. You know, it really is because, uh, uh, believe it or not, they pick up a lot of stuff. And sometimes uh, they, I notice that they pick up stuff that they're not supposed to just to be a nice person, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, they, they're good people, yeah. And it's, uh, they work in the heat of the summer and yeah. the freezing cold of the winter. The amazing thing is uh, sometimes I see one guy on a truck taking care of all of it. Now, that's a tough job. Yeah. And th uh, this is Mrs. Johnson, who's a seamstress at the Viking Cleaners at the end of Thame, uh, Thame Street. I know it. Well, yeah. I don't know her, though, but... Uh, she sits in the back. She is just... That's probably why you know? she's out of sight, yeah. 
Yeah. And this is a, a painting based on a party that they, is held every summer on Don Glassy's boat, Arabella. And it's just everyone having a fun time. <laughs> they, they look like they're having a good time. Uh, I see that out on the bay all the time, yeah. Yep. It's quite a beautiful yacht. Yes. And then uh, I wouldn't get out of here alive if I didn't put my wife, Rosemary, in there. This is uh, Rosemary at Christmas time with all her decorations. She loves to decorate. Everyone knows my wife knows that decorating for Christmas is something she plans. She's probably starting now. For well, I, I've, I've been up to your house, Bill, and I'd say she does a magnificent job uh, uh, decorating and, and, and doing your place over because it's... When I walked in your house, you know, and gone to the studio, I was astounded by the amount of things you yeah. had in there from all over the world and, and placed so strategically and well. It's amazing. She does a fantastic job. She does. Thank yeah. you. And uh, where would we be about without the uh, hot dog stand? Um, this is Lou and Denise D'Amico, and they have this stand all over town, but this particular site is on Memorial Boulevard. But you can see them out in Brenton Point, you see them down Wellington Park, and it's great food, fast. And then um, a couple that we sadly have, we no longer have around here, uh, these are the Backmans, um, and they ran the Army and Navy surplus store. It's Richie and Sammy. And this piece they're holding was the piece of uh, artifact that was in the window for like 35 years. Wow. And they have a sign, they had a sign in front of it saying, we don't know what the hell it is either. And it just <laughs> sat there forever. I, I remember one year I bought a gas mask in there. Oh, yeah. They had a lot of those. <laughs> I know. And I, and I went into the house, and there was a party going on, and I went into the house, and I says, everybody evacuating. We're under <laughs> gas attack. And everybody's looking around. They didn't know what to do. And here's this thing with this big nozzle on it. With, uh, it was outstanding. They had some real uh, artifacts in there, too, from they World did. War II. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Great shot. Now, this is uh, a painting of... Uh, the uh, curators at the Redwood Library, Maris Humphreys and Lisa Long, mm -hmm. and the, I think they are standing in the room where all the magazines are with the sculpture. Oh, I, I know that room, yeah. I, I, I was a member there for a while, and uh, that is the most uh, beautiful place. It's, yeah. it's so filled with history. Yep. And they have originals in there. And, and they've uh, taken, considering the age of the building, they've taken such good care of it. Yeah. You, they really have, and it's hard to believe that that's, it's that building is that old, but it's a beautiful building. It looks like it's uh, made out of cement if you look at the outside, yeah, but it it's does. actually made out of wood. And we go from a library to one Pelamese where they are celebrating. Whoa, they look like I have a good celebrating time. Celebrating uh, St. Patrick's Day. Oh, And wow. this is when they, uh, the bars are open early and everyone's having a good time. I used to go down there when I was younger, but uh, haven't been down there in years. No, I haven't they, either. They're still having the good times, as oh, you yeah. can see. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, good shot. Good painting. And uh, we go to uh, Clark Street, and this is the Clark Street Armory. Uh, they have the cannon. They pull it out several times a year, wheel it down to um, Washington Square, and, and set it off. And this is Colonel Robert S. Edenbach. Mm hmm and all, everyone that's a part wow. of the group there. Th those cannons are so loud. They always bring it out on, like on the 4th of July when they have the readings For, up yeah. there. And I believe this cannon actually was made by Paul Revere. No fooling. He had a foundry. Yeah. I, I didn't know yeah. that. Wow. No, wow. Very historic. And it's, uh, uh, that uh, museum's up on Clark Street, so if people want to go visit it right here yeah. in Newport, right. uh, they can go in that museum and see it there. Absolutely. That's what the armory is on Clark Street. Yeah, that's wonderful. You do a great job. I don't know if I no. told you that. <laughs> it's fun. I really enjoyed the series. And this is the uh, Polar Bear Plunge, January 1st. And everyone jumps in there. And in this case, it was done for a foundation, a wish come true, which is a great 
I know so, we, we, like I said, we had several walks uh, for my daughter, Karen, who passed away some years ago from colon cancer, and uh, uh, we made quite a bit of money for Wish Come True. Uh, but I can't say eno enough about these guys that go in that cold, cold <laughs> water and freeze themselves. Yeah. Uh, and each year, of course, they, they uh, do it for a different charity, but uh, uh, they, do, they do a great job. It I does mean, definitely bring a lot of attention to the cause. You're right. You're absolutely right. And this uh, painting is about the Rose Island Lighthouse Foundation. And um, this is uh, Captain David McCurdy and uh, the associates in the foundation. And that's just one of the spring days out there. A little blustery, but um, a beautiful place to visit. Oh. And actually, you know, you can stay overnight in the lighthouse. Um, you have to take care of the lighthouse, but it's, it's all set up as a, um, a guest cottage. That's wonderful. And did you know... Oh, Bob and I were out there. We uh, we taped a, a taped a thing out there at Rose Island. We went up in the lighthouse. They allowed us to go right up in wow. where the glass was, yep. and tape from there. And uh, amazing thing is, uh, uh, the uh, woman that was there, that was the guide, told us that there's a piano over there, and they had no way of bringing it over. So they brought it over by a boat, mm -hmm. and uh, it took them a while to do it. And uh, how do they offload it? I don't know how they did that, yeah. but they, they got it over there. And while we were over there, the amazing thing is uh, there's an antenna up there, and there was this young girl way at the top of the antenna. Uh, you know, it's a real risky job, and she was part of the people that work there that, mm -hmm. that maintain the island. But you are so right. And did you see the bedroom up there? Yeah. Isn't that wonderful? Incredible. Where you could, you could, where you could look yep. all the way around the lighthouse. It's a wonderful place you for do it once, people you know, to visit. Just, yeah, just to stay overnight. Yeah. I, I think it's very reasonable. Yeah, it's great. Uh, okay, let's see what we've got next. This is a, a painting of my friend Bill Varica, who is an art dealer and has a beautiful gallery on Bellevue Avenue. This I is a, another person. Yeah, he's a, he's a good guy. I'd like to get him on the show sometime. He think. does so much for the community. He's always donating his time, energy, and money uh, to help out so many different causes. And um, this is him relaxing, which is a, a rare moment. <laughs> really? How did you get him to relax? You said, sit down. I want to take your painting. Uh, yeah, something like that. You want to do your painting? Wow. And these are some of my older favorites from the last series. These are all the firefighters uh, on that shift for Station One, right down at Marlboro Street. Yeah, my son-in-law was supposed to be in that picture, but he was on a different shift and yeah. couldn't make it. But yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, interesting thing is when I was um, taking the photo, all these girls were slowing down, <laughs> yelling, "There's a fire in our house! Come on, follow us!" You know, I was wondering. Uh, you know, they got uh, a, a lot of uh, a lot of firemen out there, and uh, I noticed that other communities have these calendars with firemen. Firemen, on. yeah. And I was wondering why Newport it, has never done it, but that might be an there's, idea. There's for a them. lot of material there, I think. And they do a great job protecting the community too. And here's uh, one of my favorite paintings. Uh, this is a painting of Matt Quinn, the musician. Uh, unfortunately, has passed away. Uh, but this is, he used to, I think it was at Glen, one of the wineries up here on Saturday. S was it, uh, not Sakana? No, it was. No, no, it was, let me see. Oh, gr uh, Greenvale. Oh, Greenvale yeah. Vineyards. And he would play every Sunday or Saturday, and uh, it was just a, a great thing to go to. And That's his wife here. used to be yep. with him. Yep. And, uh, yeah, I met, I met him uh, when they had the showing up at... Uh, Spring Bowl. Yep. When you had your showing up there, and he was, yeah, he was up there, and that's that. That's the last time I saw him, and we yeah. had a conversation for a while. He's a real nice person. Was a nice person, I should say. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Joya Hoyt, uh, a person around town, does filmmaking, and uh, is just a very popular person, a friend of mine, and so I did her portrait. Okay. Well, Bill. Well, uh, one, one more. One if more. If you have time. Okay. 
Uh, this is Keith Stokes, who uh, was uh, um, the director of um, the uh, Chamber of Commerce, I believe. Right, Chamber of Commerce. And yeah. uh, when I normally when I ask people where they want their portraits taken, they pick a spot, and I, that's where I go to photograph. And he picked God's Little Acre uh, in front of this little tomb of a slave uh, girl. Her name was Violet, and uh, it's a, it's a it's one that I feel close to. Right. Well, Bill, at the time we we ran out of time, but it was really good having well, you. Thank on. you again. Thank us. Thank you for coming on the show and, and show us some of your paintings. And uh, I got to say that uh, you you I know I know a lot of these people, and you really capture them the way they are. Appreciate it. You're a great artist and uh, a great painter. Well, too. it's an honor to be here with and you. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Well, folks, uh, we'd like to thank you all for watching tonight. I'd like to thank uh, a couple of other peop people here tonight, Roger Glenn Miller, Roberta Miller, Bob Poniatowski, and, of course, uh, Brian Medeiros. So from all of us at Cross Pass, we'd like to say good night, God bless, and thank you for watching, and take it home, Bob. East Bay Community Action Head Start, Early Head Start, and Child Care programs are accepting applications for children ages infancy to kindergarten. Our programs include part day sessions at no cost to eligible families, full day child care, healthy meals and snacks, and a home based program for pregnant mothers and children up to age three. Your child's future begins at Head Start. Please call us for more information. Tiverton Land Trust is an all-volunteer, private organization dedicated to preserving land, open space in Tiverton, Rhode Island. We'd be delighted to have your support. We can be reached at uh, area code 401-625-1300 or on the web, www.tibertonlandtrust.org. My parents gave me a safe, loving home where I could thrive, but not all kids have it that good. Every day, neglected and abused children in your community are taken from their homes and placed into foster care. There they sit silently, waiting for months, even years, for courts to determine their future. The CASA volunteers fight for these kids in court. Please support the CASA program in your community. Every child deserves a home and a chance at winning.